Hi, this is Mr. Morales from the American Kenpo Jiu Jitsu Academy. Uh, this is class number two. Since all our students are staying home for the uh, coronavirus situation, uh, so I want to make sure you have something to do at home and also to make sure that you know that we care about you and we're always thinking about you and how you're doing, okay? So if uh, you have any question about the techniques uh, or the things that we're doing in the class, let me know and next class I'll answer that, those questions. Thank you. All right, so uh, Mr. Morales, come over here. So we're gonna start the class just as always do. Okay, step back a little bit more. Meditation stance. Close your eyes. Attention. And bow. Okay, so we wanna warm up. Last, yesterday class was brutal. <laughs> you know, it was a lot of exercises. So today we're gonna to take it a little bit easier, but at the same time, we want to do some warm up. So Mr. Morales, start with uh, jumping jacks. Just a little bit, go. There you go. Go all the way up and all the way here now. Yes, that's Ooh. even better. Four, five, that's good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Attention stance. Keep together. Go to horse stance. Form a horse. Train your horse. And start with straight punch. Ready? Right. Left. Make sure when you're training your blocks and your punches to have proper form. Make sure this fist, you're hitting with these two knuckles. Okay? We call this the horizontal punch. Ready? Right. Left. Now let's do vertical punch. Right, left, right, left, right, left, left. So I want you to do this two kind of punches and the next ones 25 times each. If you need to stop the, the, the video and then play it again later, that's fine too. Just make sure you do 25 of these ones. Now let's do uppercuts. Ready, right, left, right. Now, roundhouse punch. One, left, right, left. Now, from here, heel punch strike. Right, left, right, left. Make sure you're hitting with this part of the palm, you know, the lower part of the palm. And right, left, inward hand sword. Right, like you're chopping someone's head. There you go. Left, right.
in both hands. Go. Aya, 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 aya. There you go. You need to do Kia maybe just at the last move of every side, right? <coughs> Please. Ready for stance and be precise. Starbucks set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aya. And the other side. In this one. Keep going and then both. Bend your knees. Oh yeah. Good. Close. Attention stance. Good. Short from one. Ready? For stance. Let's do it together. Ready? Do it with me. And one. The back with the right. Two. The back with the left. Three. Outward. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, the left side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and close. Very good. Okay. Now let's review some of the Kempo techniques, the self-defense techniques, all right? If you have, like, say, a brother or sister that can work with you, you can do it with a partner. If not, you can do it in the air, okay? So, we start with delayed sword. Delayed sword, move a little bit more here. Delayed sword, somebody grabs right hand by the lapel, so you step back and block, kick, and chop, okay? So, I'm going to count three times. You're going to do it three times, all right? You don't have to do the key eye all the time, maybe in the last move if you want to. But be precise, don't speed up and do it, uh, you know, with, with bad, uh, wrong basics or wrong moves. Take your time and do it right. Ready? Delay sword. Go. Slow. One, two, and chop. There you go. Do it again. And move. Make sure you're checking all the time. Keep the other hand up. Move. And check. All right, natural stance. The next technique is called captured twigs. So I'm going to come from behind and grab you like this. So you check and hammer. And then you go cat stance, turning the shoulder in and stomp on the closest foot. Back to your, your sparring stance and then obscure elbow. Okay? And you're going to do that. Ready? Facing the mirror. And one. Go ahead. Got your twigs. Boom. Keep going. Two, three, and four. And again. Ready? And go. And one more. Go. Good. Next technique. Deflecting hammer. Deflecting hammer. The bad guy is kicking us. So from over here. So I'm kicking. So he moves to the side, downward block. One. No, not, not cast it, but neutral block. Right? Move. One. Check. And elbow. Make sure you're checking the arm. Okay? Make sure after you block the next move, you must do the forward ball. Ready? One. Two. Three. Next technique. Reversing mace. So he steps back with the left and parries. Ready? And one, two, and roundhouse kick. Now, one thing that I want to make sure you do is you don't want to move away from the back fist. You want to stop, and then when you're settling down, then when you do the back fist, that will gain, make you gain a lot of power. So let's do it together. One, do that. One, two, three. And that's how you get maximum power in that back fist. Okay? Let's do it three times. Reversing mate. Move. And move. And move. Okay. Good. Next technique is... 
checking the storm. I'm back. So he's coming with a club attack. Okay, I imagine I have a club attack here. He just moved to the side and go cat stance exactly like that. Ready? As soon as he goes there, bomb kick the groin. Psychic, if he hits this knee, he's gonna get hit with the stick. So make sure you kick the other knee. So let's see. One, two, three, and four. There you go. Make sure the kick looks really nice when you're doing the side kick, the front kick. Make sure you, your moves are legible. So if I go one, two, three, back is gonna head, the face. Okay? Next technique is maze of aggression. So now, if I grab and pull, you're gonna drop, step in, strike one, elbow down two, elbow to the face three, elbow to the face four, okay? Simple technique, ready? One, two, three, and four. Okay, now do the whole thing, ready, move. There you go. Move. Yeah. Move. Very good. Okay. Next technique. This is the same technique as the previous one, but instead of going above the arms, you're going to go under the arms, below the line of the shoulders. So, this time, the bad guy is not grabbing and pulling. This time, he's pushing but it's pushing on one shoulder and you are already moving in. So he's gonna drop the arm and heel up to the face too. He's gonna to hook and shake that arm, elbow, and then the other elbow, plus the back is to the kidney and uppercut to the chin. Boom, okay? Trigger salute, ready, move. Good. Move. Move. Yeah. And move. One more. Good job. Okay. Now, next technique. Crossing talent. So crossing talent is a defense against somebody grabbing you by the by the wrist. So the first thing is the bad guy is gonna grab you. Why are they going to grab you, by the way? They're going to grab you because they grab because they want to punch you, most likely, or they want to drag you somewhere, okay? Or to hold your hand so you cannot punch them, or, you know, it's just, it's a control attack. They're trying to control you. So, the first thing you do, see, who's in control? Me. But then he's going to drop my, my hand, my fingers, go over, ah, be careful there, now he's in control. Elbow strike, claw, elbow down, and heel up down and knee up. Okay? Make sure that the leg is not hanging. Make sure when you do the knee, it's very tight. Okay? Ready? Move. Crossing talent. Boom. Keep going. There you go. And make sure, make sure you do the heel bump. Again, move. There you go. One more. Move. Good. Next technique. Clutching feathers. Now the bad guy is grabbing you by the hair. If he's grabbing you with the left, means he's going to try to punch you with the right mate. So the first thing you do, stand on this side so they can see it. Bad guy is grabbing you by the hair. You need to pin and crush those, those knuckles against your own head. Blah! And make sure the frame is already in place. So if I go for the punch, I'm not gonna be able to, kick, to hit his, uh, his face. And turn into neutral ball, pull and strike either with the fist or with the middle knuckle punch right on the armpit, under the armpit. Now from that position, all, all upward block or outward block, as you go heel pump strike and then hammer. Boom, and that's it, okay? You got it? Again, one, two, three, and 
two, three, good. All right, facing that way. And a little bit more here, perfect. Fluffing feathers, go. one. Locking horns is if somebody grab you in this, uh, we call it the guillotine choke, okay? Now the guillotine choke looks like this. If, if he happened to grab you the head from, from the top, it's okay. Grabbing you here, right under the neck, grabbing the other hand, squeezing, stepping in, bringing the hip in, and then lifting up this part, as the armpit goes low, so basically it chokes from under, pushes down, and also change, uh, uh, twist the neck in a really, really odd position that actually allow for like you know the neck to get injured, not just choke but also uh, neck injury. So this is not good. This is why we teach it in the first list of techniques because this technique. It's important that you know how to uh, escape from. So the number one thing is if they if they are placing the arm, you have a chance to escape right away. So if say he's here, I go here. For me to do the choke properly, I need to bring my legs and my hips square in front and like this and bring my right arm up front so I can squeeze and choke, okay? So if he makes my hip go back and, my, and pushes my knee this way, he's taking all the power from my grip, okay? So stand right here. So as soon as I'm trapping and wrapping his neck, he is going to step in what we call the close knee. It's a very tight, close stance, all right? You gotta step forward so you don't fall to the ground, okay? Close knee. Push the knee and hit the groin with the right elbow up. Right there, heel pump to the body, and elbow sandwich, you see? Ready, facing that way. And go step by step. One, close knee, strike. Turn, elbow up, heel pump down, elbow strike. Boom. Ready? And go. One, two, three, and four. Okay? So that's going to be the, you know, the ten techniques that we're going to work today. All right? Face your stance, feet together. Let's review some basics. Attention, horse. Okay, right foot back, neutral ball. You know what? Let's do it together, right? I think it's better. They're gonna take. Uh, they're gonna see it better. So you're standing back there, and then yeah. Attention. Okay, form a horse. Training horse, right foot back, neutral ball. Switch, we're gonna do front to back switch. Keeping the same height, again, again. Look at my feet. Look at my feet, very important when you're switching, watch my feet. What is the first thing, yes. That will allow you to move smoother. Now, back to front switch. Back to front switch. Switch. Top switch. Now from here, we, could, we will do step drag. So we step and drag. One, two, look at my feet. Three, 
One, two, three. Now, drag step. One, two. And reverse. One, two. Now, push drag. Two, three. Now back. One, two, three. Step forward. One. And your knees. Two. Step back. One, two, three. Engine. Horse. Training horse. Sparring stance. Right foot back. From this position, forward bow. Bend the front knee. Neutral bow. Reverse bow. Neutral bow. Cat. One leg stance. Cat. Sparring stance. Forward bow. Close knee. Neutral bow. Wide knee. Reverse wide knee. Neutral bow. And horse. Right foot back. Move forward a little bit more. All right. Now, let's do front kick just two times. Make sure you bring the knee up properly. Hands up. And one, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Switch. Now, we're going to do roundhouse kick. So you could kick with the back leg for basic purposes, or you can kick with the front leg. If you kick with the front leg, you can kick from the same position. We call it stationary or jabbing kick. We can skip and kick, or we can drag and kick. All those are different ways of applying the same kick, okay? Say, for example, we do roundhouse kick, all right? Uh, facing that way with your best foot up front. So he's in the sparring stance, start moving. So from there, he can move or he can stay. Let's do roundhouse kick, hands up. And let's go, one. Make sure the, pull, the toes are totally pulled back. One, try, two, three. You can skip and kick. That means when you kick, you kick. Keep the hands up. You skip and kick. Go. One. See? He moved forward a little bit. Keep the hands up. Two. Three. Go back. Or you can drag up and kick. One. Two. Make sure you see how he's bringing the knee up. Hands up. Three. Right there. Okay? Now, facing, facing the front, that was run half kick, let's do side kick, sparring stance, and kick, 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 and kick, switch, kick, 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 all right, now, last exercise of today, we're going to do some ground technique, Back falling and get them up, getting up in base, right? So hands here, all the way down, roll backward, do the proper back fall, and then frame position, okay? Let's see it, one. And hit the ground with the hands. Don't forget that, do it again, get up in base. Ready, and hands here, and get do it slow. One, hit the ground, get up in base. And we're going to do that. He's going to fall and get up in base on the right side. Fall, get up in base with the left side. So we're going to, we're going to alternate sides. All right? And we're going to do it for six, just six times. Ready? And one. Two. Three. Four and five. Okay, six. Good 
job. All right, do it up to there. Okay, feet together, attention stance, meditation stance, close, and bow.